so this chapter is called On and Off Campus. And it starts with, um, oddly enough, Megan seeing her brother off to war and then quickly goes into um, being at school at Columbia, um, <laughs> you know, wearing, you know, some sort of pro-military something and um, that being unusual, um, but not getting any flack for it. Uh, you know, the, her classmates may have been more liberal um, and thought they knew everything because they were, you know, you know, taking their first uh, college level classes and they went to school with Julia Stiles and Joseph Gordon-Levitt, um, which she quickly name drops as her classmates, um, who I'm sure they have, you know, the closest of relationships to this day. Um, and, you know, how she wasn't um, persecuted in any way for being conservative back then. Um, and then she jumps to um, uh, about a period of time, about 10 years ago, when she was doing college campus, um, the sort of college campus lecture circuit, um, you know, going, talking about conservatism, conservatism, um, you know, talking with a moderator for a little while and then taking questions from the audience. She loved it. She said it reminded her of, um, you know, what she called old school politics back in the day when it was fun. Um, and then she talks about how that whole career came to a screeching halt, she says, um, when she went to Reed College. Um, she didn't realize how liberal of a school it was before she went. Um, again, Megan not doing her own research about where she's going or why she's there. Um, and uh, when it got to the question and answer period, somebody said, um, it's not a question. The only reason you're here is because who your father is. And then someone else got up and asked a question about um, tax policy. And um, she gave an answer about flat tax and something. And, and, and he said, if you don't understand the complexity of tax rules, why are you um, talking about taxes, especially since um, you are a person of influence? He, he made a point to say that, um, you know, your opinion is an, is an opinion and, it, and it, 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 even if it's not, you know, well-versed, um, it's fine. The problem he was having is because she's a public person, um, and has been on TV and has an influence and, um, you know, has a blog and I mean, basically because she has influence when she says something, it carries more weight. So doesn't she take that responsibility um, when she's, you know, trying to, uh, you know, convey her opinions on something that she doesn't really know much about. Um, and so, you know, her response was just because you don't know every step in the NBA or the uh, uh, in Major League Baseball doesn't mean you can't have a favorite baseball team. That's a terrible analogy for what he's talking about. Um, he's saying, you know, you are uh, a, 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 a baseball pundit who doesn't know um, the basics of uh, the of the game, really. Um, and he's saying, because you have influence, um, it sort of behooves you to know more um, rather than giving your, your um, you know, sort of relatively uninformed opinion um, to people who you can then, you know, influence perhaps incorrectly because what you're saying uh, may not have the full nuance um, of the matter. So she, you know, cancels their, you know, stops their little event and she leaves and she calls her agent. <laughs> the martyr, they don't have to pay me if they didn't get what they wanted. She felt attacked, she felt ridiculed, she felt um, put on the spot. Um, and then she asked the events person, why did you invite me here if your audience um, wasn't, uh, you know, intellectually mature enough to handle what I was saying? Right there is missing the point, Megan. No one said they weren't um, willing to hear your opinion or that they didn't 
care for you because of your opinion. They didn't care for you because they didn't think that you were qualified to talk about what you were talking about. And you missed that point entirely. And then went on a diatribe about how college campuses are just these hate-filled um, uh, sanctuaries where nobody can say anything because everybody's afraid of, of offending um, uh, the, the collegians. And she uses examples like um, Jerry Seinfeld and, and Chris Rock saying it's very difficult to do comedy at, um, a, politi at, a, at, a, at a university anymore. Um, but of course she makes this all about her and that she doesn't, um, she's not gonna put herself in positions um, of being set up um, where people don't have the ability to hear opinions outside of what they already want and what they already believe. And again, missing the entire point, that's not what anybody was saying, at least through your own recollection of this, of this event. What they were saying was, what makes you qualified to talk about these subjects when you don't know these subjects, especially since you're a person of influence. And that's the part that seems to go right over Megan's head the whole time. Um, and, you know, and talking about politics being a game and that these things actually matter and they make differences in people's lives. So for you to just, you know, off the cuff spout about, um, you, you know, whatever you believe or whatever you, um, whatever agenda you want to push for the Republican Party, it, it, it's disingenuous and it's damaging. Um, <sighs> I agree, you don't have to know everything to have an opinion about it, but um, you need to, um, you need to have the, the emotional maturity to take responsibility for the things that you do say and the influence that you do have. Um, and, and, and especially when um, you are aware of the fact that you are um, under-informed or don't understand the full breadth of a topic. Um, never at any point did you, say in this chapter that you wanted to better understand the issue that you weren't um, expressing to uh, it, with what he felt was enough um, authority. Uh, you didn't want to learn. Uh, you just wanted them to shut up. And it's not the way it works. Um, and it's very clear that you want to be a pundit who says stuff and then gets off camera. Um, the talk show is a terrible environment for you because that involves listening, and that is not um, a skill you seem to want to be able to develop. <laughs>